Good morning, everyone. This is Jonathan with Fishing with Faith Outdoors, and you can see here we're on the lake. This is beautiful Lake Juliet here in Georgia. Um, it is a power plant lake. It's a deep reservoir. Um, it's been low. Um, Y'all can't see it right now, but it has been low. Don't like it's as low as it was last week, but uh, we're out here today in the kayak, and uh, we're gonna try to get on some uh, fish, hopefully get on some busting fish. We got a good variety of rods and techniques, so. Um, all right, well, thanks for watching. God bless you. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna get out in the water and uh, try to get some fish in the, in the yak. See y'all soon. All right, we're on the water now, so let's get our paddle drive hooked up here. Right, get everything ready to go. Net ready. All right, let's see. This is only my second time, well actually third, but officially second time out on the water fishing in this kayak. So, all right, we'll let our rudder down. Now, okay, <clears throat> we're ready to go. Oh yeah. I don't know, but I'm trying this camera angle here on my chest so I can show y'all um, a few things I want to show y'all today. So, let's see how this goes. Um, I might have to do some adjusting with that, but anyway, hopefully this works out. So, But anyway, let me get my other camera turned on and we'll be right back. Everything's going good. Everything's going good. We're going going down here. Look at all these stumps, man. I want to go down this way. Check this area out first. Uh, anyway, uh, I am in a couple tournaments here. Um, I did register for a storm release tournament. Uh, Headwaters Lake, and not Headwaters Lake, but Headwaters Adventure Comp uh, Group down in Florida. We go bass busted over there, and. Uh, and the uh, Tyler's Real Fishing Tournament that's a year long. And this is the October portion of it. Uh, but the headwaters, they're doing a storm relief for the folks in North Carolina. Uh, <clears throat> so, very proud to be a part of that. Uh, if you want to check that tournament out, go look at the uh, Tourney X headwaters. Just pull up headwaters. Uh, adventure and it'll pop up and it's 35 dollars entry free with a donation if you will if you want to donate more money you can donate excuse me and uh with that being said <coughs> we're gonna try to see if we can't get some fish for those two tournaments and uh put some fish on the board so y'all stay tuned I'm going to try to maneuver around these logs here. And, uh, I don't know if I can pull my tail drive up or not. I'm not bumping anything. But, yeah. I'm going to use around here. See what happens. 
Okay, so we got these poles out here. It's been a while since I've been on this side or whatever. Oh, there's a hog. <laughs> they got these poles right here as a channel block. Let's get over here with that. All right, y'all stay tuned. All right, got to the spot where I want to be. So in one of the in one of my videos, I was talking about uh, baits for October. And due to this month of October, uh, walking bait, uh, some kind of pencil walking bait, a uh, spook is normally what it's referred to. Cast it out there. You can let it sit if you want to, but once it hits the water, just start. I don't know if y'all can see that. Just kind of just settle pops and make that bait walk back and forth. All right, and what that's going to do, it's going to imitate a dying bait fish or well, not a dying bait fish but a fleeing bait fish especially if they're chasing bait and i throw that on a um, seven foot medium fast rod uh you want a fairly fast gear ratio reel seven three to one or so to get that line up you can work it fast you work it slow um due to this is a blue back herring lake fast will get you bites okay and there are large mouth or oh well there's striper in here but blueback herring lakes they're usually tough lakes to fish um but you can work that bait a little faster than you normally do for whatever reason the blueback herring fish to eat blueback herring they they like them when they move a little fast i think there's spots in this lake too they, they want the spots out of this lake so but anyway, uh, um, that's how you use that bait, and you just make it walk across the water like so, so you can uh, get those fish to react to it. And um, I've seen some bust in here and there, but I haven't seen any fish. Uh, there was something right there, schooling, so to speak. I don't know what that was. There's a lot of stumps on this end of the lake. This is the Holly Grove end. A lot of standing timber and stumps. Very humid this morning. Didn't call for no rain. Give this in this cove now. I'm going to give this walking bait a chance in this cove, then I'm going back, then I'm going to a square bill. <laughs> They may not want a walking bait, they may want a bird bait. I do have some bird bait. But I didn't bring my bird bait rod and I was supposed to and I was supposed to grab it this morning because I got to thinking about it last night. I might want to grab it so I can throw some heavier walking baits on it, but I just flat got it this morning. And um, here soon, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a full review on this kayak. Uh, as of now, uh, a walkthrough, so to speak. So be looking for that.
Oh, there we go. We got us one. Yeah, we got us one. All right. All right. <clears throat> All right. Show him off real quick. Look at there, boys. <clears throat> That's a nice fish. First one on the tournament board. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna measure. So. Look at there, first fish on the turning on the first turning fish. Heck yeah, thanks buddy. Thanks for biting. Alright, my first sign of them chasing bait over here boys. Great news, great news. That's what I want to see. Chasing bait. <coughs> Fish, y'all. Heck yeah. A nice one, too. Nice fish. Nice fish. Try to horse. Let it run. Let Thank you, Jesus. Okay. All right. That's a fish. A good one, too. Okay. There we go, boys. Yeah, there's a nice fish right there. Mm, dang. Let him hang out there a minute. We'll get our board set up. Nice fish, boys, in my crankbait just with a log. Heck yeah. Sweet. Thank you for biting, buddy. Thank you for biting. Alright, so I'm uh, gonna we'll take this off and uh, we're we'll gonna try a whopper plopper for a little bit. So let's see what that does. Alright, so we're gonna throw this whopper pop for a little bit. This is the Berkeley Chapo. This has got some blue and chartreuse in it. And I haven't tried it yet, so let's see what whopper plopper does. And basically what whopper plopper is, you throw it out. I'll try to get where y'all can see here. You can throw it out, cast it down the bank, along the bank, around lay downs, anything really. And uh, and you just want that blade to just blah, 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 blah. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's making a gurgling sound. 
All right. And I've caught some big fish on the whopper plopper. And it's an effective bait, so. Especially this time of year. All right, well, we're gonna get up out of this cove, ease back towards that timber and see if this whopper plopper will get bit over there. All right. Another nice fish. Okay. All right. Get a camera together. Get a fish. That's what you don't want to be going on. our third fish boys our third fish thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Keeper. Uh, he ain't a keeper. Mm. Ah. There's number four, but he ain't a keeper. Thanks for biting, though. I lost the rod. I was trying to stick it back in my thing. I wish I should have turned the other way. And I didn't. And uh, I slipped and it fell in the water and I couldn't get to it fast enough. back at the boat ramp and uh, uh, we had a great day we really did I got three fish on the app on the tourney app the tourney X app and um, unfortunately we lost the rod I guess that's going to happen next time I just need a little bit blue blah, 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 blah. <laughs> be a little bit more careful uh, thank God it wasn't a very expensive combo I think all together it would have been $65 combo you know, so uh, thank God for that. But we did get some fish. Um, the kayak did really great. Um, really enjoyed this kayak. I will have a review 
uh, well not a review but I'll do a walkthrough on this kayak and then as the time goes on we'll review it so we can get an honest review on how this kayak really performs and how it uh, holds up and that kind of thing but thanks for watching everyone I hope y'all enjoyed this video and until the next one God bless see y'all then